Today is our last full day in Scotland and we're headed to Edinburgh. We parked at the Angleston Park and Ride, which is right by Edinburgh Airport. And it was easy to park and get our tickets. And now we can head into the city. Okay, so it's another day and we're getting better at this. Here is our tram coming up. It's gonna take us to Edinburgh. So um, we parked Mom, over I close by. Ticket. And we Did are it? ready to go. Yeah, here's your ticket. Blue us, it's a little different. This one's called a tram. <laughs> so let's go. As we took the tram into town and we're looking around, we all agreed that it was some of the best architecture we have seen in any of the towns we visited thus far on our journey. We got off at the St. Andrew's stop, but we probably would have been closer at the Prince Street stop. And there is Edinburgh Castle, high atop a volcano in the center of town. It was amazing to see such a beautiful outcropping of rock right there in the middle of a city. Absolutely amazing. And not to worry, the volcano is long since extinct. Edinburgh, we got the Sir Walter, we got the David Livingstone statue behind us and he's carrying a Bible and he actually has a lion skin on to commemorate the time that he was attacked by a lion and survived. Also behind me, the monument, monument for Sir Walter Scott which was created uh, after, a few years after his death. We had to hike up a pretty decent hill in order to get to Edinburgh Castle area and the Royal Mile, but it was totally worth it. Just don't ask the kids. Here you can see the beginning of the Royal Mile and right there is the entrance to Edinburgh Castle, which I did not realize would sell out and so we were not able to actually go into the castle. Not purchasing tickets ahead of time is probably one of my biggest regrets. Just like every other stage of our trip, in the big cities, there are always street performers, and this was an ingenious idea to become a living statue for pictures and tips. And of course, the bagpiper did not disappoint. There were so many beautiful old buildings, like this church that we passed. As we walked down the Royal Mile, it ends at Holyrood Palace, which is the Queen's residence when she comes to Edinburgh, and we'll see that in a minute. What did you want today? Yes. Are you really excited? Yes, and I already have my bagpipes in my bag. Yeah, that's very cool. So we're at the weaving mill um, right by Edinburgh Castle, checking everything out cool place, lots of different levels, and we're going to get pictures in a little bit, huh? While we were at the Tartan Weaving Mill, we got pictures taken. Make sure if you're going to do this that you get reservations as soon as you can because they do fill up. We had so much fun getting a chance to wear the kilt outfits without having to pay the big bucks to purchase the outfits. They can be thousands of dollars to get the full set. Now these are a little bit older of a style because we like the looks of them, but you have lots of styles that you can choose from. And we paid an extra 10 pounds to get all the pictures on a flash drive. Here we are down looking around. If you look up to the left, that is where the studio is. We got our pictures taken at. And you could see all the different tartans and kilt outfits that had come from the past to present, the styles by years, there's a lot of information to read, and we just enjoyed looking around at everything that they had to offer. You could have them make you a kilt set even. Of course, we don't have the budget for that, but I loved especially the dresses. We had lunch just down the street at Deacon's House Cafe. Deacon was a cabinet maker at the time, but he also led a double life and he was a burglar at night. They say that this might have been where Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's story was inspired. 
we sat for some lunch and we thought we wanted to have something that was a little more Scottish slash English. So um, we stopped at Deacon's House Cafe and it's such a cute little place. So it's a good place for lunch. And what did you want to say? Anything? I got a tuna melt on a croissant. And I just wanted to put my hair. So we're excited to try it. The lunch was delicious and the atmosphere was great. We actually did not have to make a reservation, which was nice and we definitely highly recommend this if you ever get to Edinburgh. Next we got tickets for the hop on hop off bus so that we could see the rest of Edinburgh. It was a nice long ride with lots of stops with great information on the whole entire town. Here we are passing Holyrood Palace which is again where the queen stays when she comes to town. And straight ahead, speaking of extinct volcanoes, is Arthur's Seat. It reminds me of having a little bit of the highlands right in the center of Edinburgh. As you see, right across from it is Holyrood Palace. So the queen has a very beautiful view of Arthur's Seat from her palace and there is a lot of hiking that you can do on Arthur's Seat. There are several different trails, and if we had more time, we would have definitely hiked up to see. The views are gorgeous, we are told. Another amazing view is driving around the base of the castle and looking up at the rock formation that it is on. This is another reason why the Edinburgh Castle is one of the best fortified castles in Scotland, because being on the side of a cliff, basically, it is very hard to scale to that castle and thus it is very well protected. One feature that I really liked was we actually had to stop on a bridge of sorts. There was the road way down below and we were way up high, but as you see, we had buildings that were the whole way up with us on our road and buildings that were down below. So it was just an interesting architectural wonder there how they made the difference in height just so easy and natural. So we just learned an interesting difference. In Scotland, if they serve uh, spirits, they need to have a special license to allow children in. No children allowed on the premises under 18 years of age if they serve liquor because um, they need a special license and that's really interesting. In Ireland it's like pubs everywhere and no mention of needing to be a certain age to be able to be there. That's interesting. We found a pub to eat at finally and we had to hurry up and order because the kitchen was closing soon, much like they closed pretty early in Ireland too. But the food was delicious. During the day we spotted the drafts about town. There were 40 of them at different sites to draw attention to the historic or artistic value of those locations. And we had so much fun getting pictures with them and checking out the information. Now throughout the day, we actually saw six of them. So six out of 40 is not so bad. The display was up for July and August and they were actually auctioning one of them off to a lucky winner. Well, back on the tram because it's time to bring our day to a close. Tomorrow will be a long driving day as we head back towards Northern England and we will see Hadrian's Wall. Marschen Leven Drasta.
Good job, kiddos.